Hey, welcome back to the shop. Got a question for you. Are you passing gas out of your CO2 kegerator setup? Don't know, not sure. Well, what happens to a lot of us is we turn on the gas, connect it to a regulator, and come back tomorrow and all the CO2 is leaked out. So how can we tell if we have a gas leak in our setup without losing every stitch of CO2 that we just bought. So when I turn on the valve for the tank, these two gauges are going to, are going to move. So there we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the valve on the tank off. Let's take a little tour real quick. The gauge straight across. This is our high pressure gauge. This is our tank gauge. This guy here, low pressure gauge, runs this direction. This is our, um, this is our uh, working pressure. So working pressure, tank pressure. If in my tiny, tiny, CO2 setup that we have here. If I create a small leak, which one of these two gauges is going to move? Any ideas? Place your bets. So I'm going to create a small leak. See if you're right. Did you see it? The working pressure gauge showed the leak. The, or the, the tank pressure gauge showed the leak. The working pressure gauge didn't move. Or if it did move, it recovered. So this is the gauge that's going to show us our leak. So here's how we tell. When we get a new tank or we add a new accessory or we put on a new keg, or we make any adjustments at all to a previously good CO2 setup. Turn the tank on, set your regulator, so these two gauges are the way you want them, turn the tank off. Then we go away for a period of time. When we come back, watch this gauge. I'm gonna turn the gas on See that jump? That jump indicates we have a leak someplace. <clears throat> Depending on how much that gauge moved versus how much time you gave it, um, that's how bad our leak is. If I turn the tank off and this gauge whoosh, drops all the way to the pin, pretty good leak. It's gonna be pretty easy to find. If I come back tomorrow, Let's make another little leak. Little leak, just a tiny leak. So now I'm gonna come back. Today is tomorrow, and I'm going to turn on my gas. Watch the, watch the tank pressure, the high pressure gauge. See it move? If that gauge moves at all, you have a leak regardless if it's just a jiggle, because here's what should happen. I come back tomorrow, next day, next week, whatever. I turn on this gauge, watch, watch this guy. It doesn't move at all. That's what you wanna see, not only today, tomorrow, but the next day, is this little needle not moving a little bit, because even if it moves a tiny, tiny bit, over time, that's going to leak all of your CO2 out of your system. And it could, unless you have check valves installed, it could flatten out your beer, which would be not good, less than ideal. So that is how we can tell if our CO2 system is tight. Now, on a later video, we'll go over how to break it all down. But this is the way you can tell if you have a problem. So just for funsies, Let's, let's leak all the gas all the way out, 
So what's going to happen, just like we talked about earlier, this needle is going to go all the way to the pin. It's going to go all the way almost to zero before the working pressure gauge follows. So let's see what happens. There it goes. It's leaking out, staying relatively stable, leaking out, and then down. So there you go. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, by all means, hit us up in the comments. If you're watching this on YouTube, like and subscribe, share it with your friends, because, you know, we all have questions. So I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Take care.